Hello students. So here I am going to discuss one more problem which is related to fugacity. And in this again we need to find out the fugacity of gaseous propane at 12 bar and 310 Kelvin using the following data. And the data is P pressure which is in bar and volume which is in meter cube per kg this is given to us. So pressure and volume is given to us right and on the basis of this we need to find out fugacity. So the formula for to find out the fugacity is ln f upon p is equals to 0 to p z minus 1 by p dp. This is the compressibility factor. So by using compressibility factor we can find out the fugacity at given pressure and here which is 12 bar right. So what is compressibility factor? It is given by z is equals to pv upon rt. So we have the value of p and v. T is here constant and the value of T is 310 Kelvin okay and R is 8.314. So we can substitute the value. So P is 1.7, volume is 0.3313 here which is given to us and then R is 8.31 and T is 310 which is constant. This R and T is constant for all the values and pressure and volume will change correspondingly. So you can get the value of by putting in the into this so you will get the value of z for for respective uh, pressures right and then for this formula what we need z minus 1 by p so we substitute the values z which is the compressibility factor minus 1 and p is respective pressure for each uh, uh, Attrition. So this is 1.7, then 3.4, then 6.8 for 10.2, 11.7, 13.6 and 34. So you will get the value of uh, from 1.7 to 34, a respective value for value of Z minus 1 by P. Now we can, um, now we need to find out what? We need to find out the integration of Z minus 1 by P, dp 0 to P, right? So to find out, uh, to calculate uh, uh, the integration, we are using here uh, numerical methods, which is uh, the one of the numerical method, which is Newton interpolation method. There are two types of Newton interpolation method. One is the forward one and the second one is the backward. So here I am using forward Newton interpolation method. So for this, this has become ln f by p is equals to y1 now y1 y2 y3 is what is this z1 minus p so first value is is y1 y2 then y3 then y4 up to y7 and the pressure the value of pressure is here it is x1 x2 x3 and so on so y1 xr is what xr is at which pressure we need to find out the fugacity so it is at 12 bar so xr is fixed here which is 12 bar minus x1 you can uh, x1 is 1.7 y2 x2 x1 uh, and uh, uh, this this how we find out this i'm just going to tell you how we are going to find y2 x2 x1 right then plus y3 xr minus x this is xr minus x3 into xr minus x2 y3 x3 x2 x1 and so on so now first we need to find out y2 x2 x1 right so to uh, determine this we have formula y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 right so y2 minus y1 here, y2 the value of y2 is minus 0 0.294 minus minus 0 uh, 0.588 and x2 is 3.4 and 1 point minus 1.7 and when you solve this you will get the value of 0 0.1729. Similarly, you can find the next one by x3, x2 and the formulas become y3 minus y2 upon x3 minus x2. Again, just substitute the values. 
and you will get the value it is 0.0432 so I have already calculated these values so I am just going to return over here I am just going to write over here sorry 0.0144 by x4 x5 is 8.4 into 10 just to the power minus 3 by x sorry this is x4 x3 this is x5 x4 then x6 x5 6.26 into 10 to the power minus 3 and then y x7 x6 this is 2.05 so this is your first order is completed over here now we will go for the second order which is this one right? so how to find out this the, these are the value of first order and let one Three, four, five, six iterations, right? And now to find out the second order values or third order, which is y x three x two x one. So we have just calculated y x three x two, right? And y x two x one, and divided by x three minus x one, right? So the for value of this 0 0.0432 minus 0 0.1729 and x3 is 6.8 minus 1.7. So you will get the value of minus 0 0.025. Similarly, we can find the other values as well. Why? So this is minus 4.23. 10 raised to the power minus 3. Then x5, x4, x3 and this is minus 1.22 into 10 raised to the power minus 3. Then y, s6, x5, x4, this is minus 0 0.629 into 10 raised to the power minus 3. Then y, x7, x6, x5 minus 0 0.18 into 10 raised to the power minus 3. Right? So, this is your third order is finished. Now, Let's move on to the fourth order. So, how to find out the values for the fourth order? This is y, x4, x3, x2, x1. The formula for this is y, x4, x3, x2, minus y, x3, x2, x1, which we have just calculated, x4 minus x1. And then we put the values here so you will get first value it comes from 2.44 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 then y x5 x4 x3 x2 this is 0 0.3626 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 then y x6 x5 x4 x3 and the value is 0 0.0869 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 by x7 x6 x5 x4 this is 0 0.0185 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 now the next order so for this next order is x5 x4 x3 x2 x1 the formula is this for x5 x4 x3 x2 minus y first one x4 x3 x4 x3 x2 x1 divided by x5 minus x1 and the value in this order the first value it comes minus 0 0.207 to 10 to the minus 3 then by x6 x5 x4 x3 x2 this is minus 0 0.0270 into 10 to the power minus 3 then the last value x7, x6, x5, x4, x3, it comes 2.51 into 10 to the power minus 6. Now, this, now we need to find out the next order. So to find out the next order, the formula is for this is x6, x5, x4, x3, x2, x1. It is y, x6, x5, x, this one, x4, x3, x2, minus y, x5, x4, x3, x2, x1, divided by x6 minus x1. 
so value is 0 0.015 1 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 similarly for the next one 5 4 3 2 this is y x7 x6 x5 x4 x3 minus y x x5 x4 x3 x2 and here it is x7 minus x2 and the value it is 4.95 into 10 to the power minus 4 and now the last order this y x7 x6 x5 x4 x3 x2 x1 is by x7 x6 x5 this minus this x4 x3 x2 minus y x6 x5 x4 x3 x1 which is divided by x7 minus x1 and the value for this is 1.486 into 10 to the power minus 1 okay so these are the value uh, which we are going to substitute in this formula so x I have already told you xr is fixed at which uh, we need to find out the fugacity which is 12 bar and the value of uh, first value of each order is going to be substituted over here because we we are here it is a uh, we are using the forward integral man Newton's integration method right so uh, and for the more accurate result you need to take the value after uh, as much as you can take after the decimal after the point right and decimal as much as you can take so you will get the more accurate uh, result right so i have just taken i think uh, up to two decimal or three decimal so uh, the whatever result we will get after solving this it may be different from the uh, the, uh, the result or the answer which is given to in your book so it it, it doesn't affect so uh, don't worry about it okay so let's substitute the values over here so i'm just rub this okay so first is ln of f upon p so p is here 12 bar we know that now y1 the value of y1 is this minus 0 0.588 plus the second value is is xr so 12 minus 1.7 and the value of by 2 x 2 x 1 which we have already which we have calculated in the first order uh, uh, first situation in the first order right so which is it was 1.791729 then plus 12 minus 1.7 then 12 minus 3.4 and the value next value will be 0 0.025 plus 12 minus 1.7, 12 minus 3.4, 12 minus 6.8 and the next value is, it is minus 0 0.207 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 plus 12 minus 1.7, 12 minus 3.4, 12 minus 6.8. 12 minus next pressure is 10.2 and the value here it is I guess I just this value is 2 point this is 2.44 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 and this value is minus minus 0 0.207 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 okay, then plus 12 minus 1.7 12 minus 3.4 12 minus 6.8 12 minus 10.2 then 12 minus 11.7 and here the value is here the value is 0 0.101512 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 and the last it is 12 minus 1.7 12 minus 3.4 12 minus 6.8 12 minus 10.8 
12 minus 11.7 and 12 minus 13.6 and the last value it is 1.486 into 10 just to the power minus 5 and when you solve this you will get finally ln of f upon 3 comes how much it, it is the value of after solving this it comes minus 0 0.0715 right so f upon p 0.0715 and when you put f is equals to this is p p at 12 bar so you, when you multiply this you will get the answer 11.17 bar so fugacity is 11.17 bar if we take the uh, more uh, number after decimal you will get the uh, more accurate result and this is the ap approximate result and you can use this uh, formula this method to find out the fugacity okay hope you understand this question and one more thing which is mentioned in this question uh, you ask also compute the fugacity of propane at 310 kelvin that if that means the temperature is same and 70 bar so at 70 bar you need to replace this 12 by 70 bar rest of the values are remain same so just replace this 12 everywhere this 12 everywhere this 12 by 70 bar so you will get the fugacity and then they ask and then they ask in the same question uh, the vapor pressure of propane at 310 is 13 bar so vapor pressure is given 13 bar and with the help of this uh, uh, method you can find the fugacity at 70 bar you will get the some value so with the help of this you can find out what fugacity coefficient which is phi it is given by f by p so you will you have both the values so you can put over there so you will get some value then f saturated is what 13 which is the vapor pressure into the fugacity coefficient so you will get fs then to find out the what we need to find out here we, 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 want, we want to compute the fugacity so we have one more formula so with the help of this you can you can calculate the fugacity so this is ln of f upon f saturated is equals to v upon rt then uh, two pressures are give, given which is p minus ps so here p is 70 bar and PS is vapor pressure which is 13 bar right and you need to multiply it by 10 raised to the power 5 because this is this the value to just to uh, uh, for the balance of all the uh, units right and volume how to find out this volume just either you can take on this right so molar volume how you can find out the molar volume this is at 0 0.021 at 13 bar approximately and then you have to multiply it by the molecular weight of propane which is 44 into kilo moles so put 10 raised to the power minus 3 and then you can put into this and then you will get the value of fugacity so just try to solve this question and i'm, I'm just hoping you will be able to solve this question